give me your best pickup line. Well, uh, I don't really have a lot of pickup lines because personally, I'm not trying to be picked up. I'm trying to be pinned down. Who would you want Alex to take home? Actually, I want you to take number two because I think I'm in love with number one. What is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? I've never told anyone this because it's kind of illegal. That was smooth. And I don't know how I feel about that. Jesus. Straight up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to be straight up. This is going to be the hottest magic trick you've ever seen. The hottest magic trick. Can you open your mouth? Whoa, whoa. I like that. You like that? Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun together. Ladies and gentlemen, the person going home is... But ladies and gentlemen, this next Bachelor, I think is the reason a lot of you are here. He's one of the funniest people I've ever met. He's charming, he's sweet, he's tall is what he asked me to say. <laughs> Give it up for Blessed. Hello, hello, what's up you guys? You guys, it's an honor to be here tonight. I'm a little nervous, but honestly, I'm more excited to find the love of my life. But I heard it's up to you guys. You guys are gonna help me find the love of my life tonight? Please, please, I need it, I need it. I love that after you say something, you go like this. <laughs> Not too, bro, I'm just a smiley person. I love smiling. You did it again. I love it. It's, it's what I do, it's what I do. You know, we've had a lot of people in David's videos and in David's shows, but I will say, I want you to find love for some reason more than I've ever wanted someone to find love. That's great, bro. I've been single for like five years, so I think it's time. You've been single for five years? Why have you been single for so long? Uh, I wish I could answer that question, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I've just been single, but hopefully tonight I get to find some true love. We know you're a YouTuber, you're internet personality. Tell us a little bit about yourself outside of work. What do you like when you're not working? I love to play video games. I love to have a good time with my friends. Uh, I love to spend time with family and, you know, just, I have a dog. I'm a dog dad, by the way. I love my dog. Uh, I take my dogs on hikes, walks, and, you know, just spend time with him. What's your ideal type? What are you looking for in a woman? Someone to make me laugh is a, is, plays a big, a big role for real. I feel like I'm a funny person. I love to laugh. So if you don't make me laugh, you're out the picture. Please. Either those are friends or we have to escort you out afterwards with security. Those are my best friends right yeah. there. All of them right there. I love them. Okay, good, good, good. And describe yourself as a partner. What do you like in a relationship? What do you provide? Um, I'm loyal. I'm funny. And I'm really family oriented. So I feel like that plays a big role into, into the relationship. You know, I'm ready to have a family with you. So let's do it. <laughs> All right. Well, tonight you can get started. Woo! Uh, are you ready to meet your lucky ladies? I'm ready to meet my lucky ladies. All right, without further ado, let's meet the ladies. <laughs> ladies, how we doing? Good. Good. Great, Good. great. Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your name and a fun fact? Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a magician. That's a good start. I've never met a magician. I'm your first. The first magician. First magician ever met in person. Maybe she can make your penis disappear. My specialty. Oh! <laughs> Contestant number two, name and fun fact. Um, fun fact, I have two dogs and they are my babies. I'm a crazy dog mom. Um, I don't put outfits on them, but I buy the expensive food. I take them on walks and I take all the photos. I love it. I'm a dog dad, but oh, you did not say your name. What's your name? My name's Amanda. Hannah. Okay, Hannah. So how many dogs do you have? I have one dog. One dog plus two dogs. That's doable. That sounds like a family right there. All right. The start of one. All right. Contestant number three. My name's Essie, and um, I was conceived in a Texas Roadhouse bathroom stall. Wait, can you repeat that? I did not really hear you well. 
Yes, I was um, conceived in a Texas Roadhouse bathroom stall in Indiana. Her parents, all her months parents before she was born, made her in a, in a Texas Roadhouse. I wasn't gonna say, but I'm glad you said it. That's amazing. Do you feel like that's affected your personality at all? I think it made me into the person I am today. Okay, very specific that. type of person. Contestant number four. Hi, I'm Toria, number four. I could fold myself into a human pretzel. Okay, all right. I've never met somebody that could do that, so I love that. I wanna see that. Can you demonstrate? Um, only he gets seed later. Oh. Okay, but that was interesting. All right, so you're hooked a little bit, you're interested? I'm hooked a little bit. I've never heard somebody tell me that before, so it's, it's a new feeling for sure. Contestant number five. Hi, my name is Val. A fun fact about me is I'm lactose intolerant. Me too! <laughs> It's great. I love cheese, but I can't have it. Me too. I love cheese, but I, whenever I have it, you know the rest of the story. But um, I like what I can't have, so. How is everybody's indigestion the best part of the show for you guys? <laughs> uh, last contestant, contestant number six, name and fun fact. Hola, mi nombre es Caterina y... I don't remember how to say fun fact in Spanish. But my fun fact is that I speak Spanish. I love me a bilingual queen. My family's really big on speaking Spanish, so the fact that you speak Spanish stands out to me for sure. But did you say you didn't know how to say fun fact in yeah. Spanish? Just yeah. fun fact, just fun fact. That's pretty easy. I'm sorry. By the way, I just want to say that's a fucking crazy fun fact to be like, I speak Spanish. Not those two words, though. Only just not those two. I know every other word. Uh, all right, well, we've met our contestants a little bit, but now it's time to really meet them. Blessed, here's your first question. Go ahead and read it out loud. Contestant number one. I'm assuming that's you with the, with the boots sticking out, staring yeah, right at me the magician. My eyes. For sure, the magician. Amanda, I remember your name. Anna. Sometimes it hurts when you say my name. Anna, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's been a long night. All right, Anna, contestant number one, give me your best pickup line. I don't have to be psychic to see you in my future. That's good. I like that one. That was not bad. That was a good one. I love how easy it is to impress you. It's really easy <laughs> to impress me. Like I said, I've been single for five years, so anything yeah. really impresses me. I'm going to start sending you my gym progress photos. And just make that's I'll, good. I'll hype you up every time. I'm yeah. Like. All right. Contestant number two, give me your best pickup line. Well, uh, I don't really have a lot of pickup lines because personally, I'm not trying to be picked up. I'm trying to be pinned down. Oh! Oh, word? That's how you feel? But, 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 but bless if I, for you, I do like that name. And after we're done here, I hope your neighbors do too. You see, I just moved out of an apartment because my neighbors always complained and I just moved into a house. So I get no noise complaints. So I'm down if you're down. They're gonna complain now. So get ready. Hey, Haney bought that house too. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Contestant number three, give me your best pickup line. Okay, my best pickup line. Does that ass taste as good as it looks? <laughs> Does that ass taste as good as it looks? It was good, but like, how do you not have a big ass? Like, like why are you most, just assuming? Most men have a nice ass, let's be honest. They got bubble butts. <laughs> Did, is that one of your friends who just yelled out that your ass is hairy? One of my friends just told me my ass is hairy. Do you like a hairy booty? You know, I'm not here to judge as long as it's clean. As long as it's clean. So contestant number four, give me your best pickup line. Okay, so if I saw you, I'd be like, let's flip a coin. Heads, you're mine. Tails, I'm yours. That's a really basic answer, but I've never heard it before. So I'm going to go with right, it. it. I love it. Me. I love it. That was good. I, I really did expect her to say heads. I give you head. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was on too. I mean, too. we can do that too. Yeah. Tails, still head. Yeah, or tails, I'll give you my tail. Both yeah. are good. You know what? We liked okay, what, what was given. Mind. That's good. Contestant number five, give me your best pickup line. 
Even though you can't see me right now, it doesn't matter, because beauty is on the inside. So let me know what you want to be inside me. And we're back to being a real dirty. I love it. That's the path I'm looking forward to. We took a, a little second break for a coin flip, and now we're back to being gross. That was a good one. That left me speechless. Last contestant, you have a lot of competition, so I hope you impress me right now. Contestant number six, give me your best pickup line. So I'm actually new to town, so I was wondering if you could give me directions to our date tonight. Are you actually from another place? No, I'm born and raised in LA. Oh, okay. So she lied. She's a liar. That's a red flag already. I'm sorry. All right, we've heard all the answers. Yeah. For round one, which is the pickup lines. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for an elimination and David in the audience. All right, guys, so I just want to give a really fun fact. My cousin's up there. Raise your hand. He's so cute, we're so proud of you. All right, anyways. So Crawford, if you were at a bar, which pickup line would you most like? Dang, there's some good pickup lines out there. Also, David knows I hate public speaking, so I hate that you're asking. <laughs> That's why I did this, dude, so we could get out of that. And you're sitting on my lap. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, number five. Ooh, okay. We also got Devonte here. You're single now. Yeah. What pickup line will work on you, puppy? Number three, eating ass. No. Let's Thank go. You. Thank you. He, well, he does talk about eating ass a lot. He does, he does. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the rules at this point. You will applaud for who you want to stay, and we'll start with contestant number one. <laughs> contestant number two. Of I'm sorry to do this, but we have to send someone home, and I believe it is contestant number three. Contestant number three. Do I get to meet her now? Yeah, you do. Uh, Essie, why don't you come on over here? Ass eater. No way. If I would have seen your face, I would have kept you in. Not Thank you. Lie. Thank you. Appreciate but it. But you could have had a better answer for the crowd. I'm sorry. Not a lot of open minds in this crowd. Come on, people. Come on. Well, though, one more time for contestant number three, everybody. Before we start the video, guys, if you guys want to come to the next live show, it is on May 10th at the region in downtown LA. We're super honored. We got asked to join the Netflix as a Joke Festival, so that's awesome i've always wanted to be a part of netflix and this is like my first thing so it would be it would mean a lot to us if you guys came showed up the show's gonna have a lot of special guests it's gonna be really funny it's gonna be a good time go get your tickets link in the description right now also make sure to like share and subscribe put on those post notifications because we are picking two lucky winners to win 50 buckaroonies so yeah let's get to the video one down how does it feel it feels good i didn't know what to expect she was beautiful. I feel bad that she went home, but I'm assuming, according to the crowd, the rest of the contestants are just as good looking, so I'm excited. All right, well, you have another question to narrow it down. My grandmother actually wrote this one because I love her relationship with my grandfather. It's one of the sweetest things. They've been together for 65 years. So go ahead and read this. She says this is the key to her relationship. Contestant number one. What movie describes what you're like in bed? I would say the movie that best describes what I'm like in bed is Titanic because it's going down and one of us might not make it to the end. Can you elaborate on what you mean by that? It sounds like one of us is dying. I'm kind of scared. Aren't you kind of into something like that? As far as death? No, I'm not sorry. Not death, something, something a little more kinky. Okay, I could kind of see where you're going with that. That's fine. I like how she's like, are you sure you don't want to die? I know, right? <laughs> That's what I feel is like where it's going. Why are you so close-minded, Blessive? All right. Contestant number two. What movie describes what you're like in bed? Okay, I think for me, it would have to be everything, everywhere, all at once. Why? Because I'm down to try everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah! I like that one! Let's go! I like that one. 
I'm, I'm really open to trying a lot of things. So the fact that you're open as well makes you stand out to me. So I, I like that answer. <laughs> Contestant number four. Contestant Hi. number four. What movie best describes what you're like in bed? I would say Toy Story because a lot of toys would be involved. <laughs> and you would definitely have a great story to go home to tell your friends. You see, I really like that answer. But it also doesn't sit right with me that Toy Story is literally a kid's movie. Well, you're just thinking wrong. <laughs> but that was a good one. I'm not against the toys. All right, contestant number five. What movie describes what you're like in bed? Okay, the best movie to describe what I'm like in bed would be Clueless, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but I will make you come back for more. You see, it started off really like bad. But then the second part of the answer kind of like... And you could teach me what you like, you know? I feel like they're just putting in little tags afterwards to be like, by the way, I'll fuck you. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Yeah. But you, you sound like you're unexperienced, and I don't know how I feel about that. Jesus. <laughs> straight up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to be straight up. Okay, be straight up. All right, well, we have one more. Contestant number six. What movie describes what you're like in bed? I would say Home Alone because you're not there. Oh, it's a sweet one. She's home it. alone right now because you're not there with her. You should be at her home. Yeah, hurry up. I don't know if I could explain it any clearer. <laughs> Oh, because she's home alone, and she wishes I was in the bed with her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right, now you've heard all the answers. It's time for another elimination. All right, I got my buddy Alex right here. He's found love, so I want to ask you. You're a big movie guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. All right, what movie did you connect with the most? Uh, I th I'm thinking the Toy Story answer. I was vibing with the, with the Toy Story. You use a lot of toys too? Maybe. Ooh, okay, I like that. But I'm double taken, I'm double taken, see? Oh, he's got, he's got double taken, ri okay. Yeah. Wait, you got two girlfriends? No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, Alexis isn't here, dude. I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, settle down so I can hear who's getting the applause. Contestant number six. <laughs> Contestant number five. <laughs> Contestant four. <laughs> one. <laughs> and finally, contestant number two. <laughs> the contestant going home is contestant number four. No way. You know what's crazy? She was in my roommate's recent music video, so that's how I know her. That is actually crazy. I did my roommate a favor. I did my roommate a favor. It's okay. Does your roommate like her or something? That's none of my business to tell. <laughs> What's his name? Fabio. Fabio likes that girl for sure. Bro, I didn't say that. Fabio wants to have sex with that girl for sure. Right, <laughs> and you said it. We're going to get right back to the episode. But first, have you ever wanted to be in one of these videos or at least feel like it? Well, now you can. Because we just created a card game called The, the Menu. Menu. And we have two different versions. One for people dating and relationships, married. And then if you're not, we have our friends version. Because you're single and you're not with someone. We said we wouldn't make them feel bad. I know, but I just feel like that's a good selling point. You loser. <laughs> Buy the friends version. <laughs> We've been play testing these for the past few weeks and we absolutely love, love it. it. But we like playing the lovers one more because there's things like kiss each other and touch each other and hold hands and dance and mm. If you guys wanna buy the game, click the link in the description. Get your own pack and play with your friend or your lover. Plus the first 100 people to buy the game get a signed copy, plus maybe a little bonus. From Joe Jonas. <laughs> Joe Jonas? Well, we can't afford Joe Jonas. Oh, John Jonas. <laughs> Go do that, but for now, back to the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next question. Okay, contestant number one. This one's important. I really want to know, so please give me a good answer. What is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? I've never told anyone this because it's kind of illegal. Do it! Okay. So we're going to speak in hypotheticals. But basically, I was in Mexico with my ex-boyfriend. 
after going through his laptop, I saw something I didn't like and accidentally flew back to America with his passport. Oh. Oh. Damn, I like that. You like that? Oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun together. That was good. She's toxic. I like toxic. You like toxic? Unfortunately, yeah, I like toxic. When she said she was in a foreign country, I thought she was gonna go, I shouldn't do this, but I killed him. I think the passport thing was honestly worse. Did he make it back home with his family? He figured it out. He's fine. I don't know what he's doing. He's now. figured it out. He's, he's still a, there. He's still there. He's a Mexican citizen. Now. He's alive. Yeah. He's alive. He's good. Okay, next contestant. Contestant number two. What is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Honestly, mine is so boring after following up number one, but I, I honestly can't think of anything that I've done really wrong besides binge watching our favorite show without him. Oh, and okay, that's I know worse, that's worse, that's worse. we were doing long distance and we agreed to watch until a certain episode and he didn't watch it, so I kept going. I know, I know, I'm the worst. I'm you guys are more upset about that than stranding someone in Mexico without a passport? You see, I'm not the only toxic one here. Yeah, Jesus. All right. Thank you for the honesty, contestant number three. Contestant number five, what is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? Okay, so the worst thing I've ever done is I really wanted to get a cat and my ex was like weirdly afraid of cats. Like he would jump every time he saw one. So I was upset that he didn't want to get one. So I paid this like prank website to send him cat facts every minute. 20 messages every minute. 20 cat facts a minute? Yeah, because he was scared of cats. Oh, you're gonna hate my answer back to you. I'm allergic to cats. Are you willing to take Benadryl? I've done that before, but it only really lasts for like an hour for me, and then I'm back to sneezing and scratching my eyes. Are you willing to take Benadryl every hour? That sounds unhealthy. I don't think so. <laughs> we'll maybe, make it work. We'll make yeah, it work. maybe contestant six is uh, surprisingly worse somehow. Uh, yeah, contestant number six. What is the worst thing you've ever done in a relationship? The worst thing I've done was staying in the relationship. <laughs> I like that one. That's a really dominant answer. If you guys are worried about going home after this, I feel like we already know who's gonna get eliminated, so you're probably safe. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the elimination. David. All right, I'm gonna go to my buddy Nick here. Oh, <laughs> Who had the worst one? Number one, for sure. That was the one? Number Why? One. I didn't like it. I, what you want me to do, dick right? I didn't like it. All right, you know what? Let's go to Danny who told you to shut the f up. Who honestly, because I'm not mad about truth. Danny, who, who did you feel had the worst one? I'm not gonna lie. Cats are bullshit. Number five, you gotta go. Whoa! You I got you, my boy, I got you! Ooh. Love Let's you, go! Danny. That's, my, that's my cousin. Oh, that's oh, number five? Yeah, yes. Oh. We have some pretty divisive answers right now. Again, decision's up to you. We're gonna start in the back here. Vote for who you want to stay. Contestant number six. Yeah. Contestant number one. The toxicity is working for you. Number two. And contestant number five. I know David wants his family in the blessed lineage. Oh, man. But unfortunately, contestant number five is going home. That's my cousin. That's my cousin, guys. No way. He's allergic to cats, you assholes. Thank if you, you didn't say cats, you would have stayed. I promise. I'm, I'm a cat person, I'm loyal. Well, I'm not. I'm sorry. See ya. You're, you're so honest that it's almost, it's, it's far too honest, actually. This is how I am. You could be good. I like it. All right. Are you ready for your next one? Let's do it. Okay, we actually need a blindfold for this. I'm going to get blindfolded? You're getting blindfolded, my friend. Let's do it. And I'm going to take this from you. You're going to stand right here. Right here. Wait, what's happening? Am I going to get, like, kissed right now? Like, I need some chapstick. Like, I don't know. Like, you know. Like... Don't, who knows what's going to happen? It's up to them. All right, bet. Words can often mislead in a relationship. But that first spark, that first touch is undeniable. So, ladies. Wait, they're touching me? <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Okay, let's do it. Come on, come on. 
I'm ready. It can I'm be ready. whatever you want. No pressure. Uh, we're going to start with contestant number two. All right. Give it up for contestant number two. Okay, Vlasov, I want you to stick out or point two fingers at me. Point two fingers at you? Yeah. You're right here? Yeah. Okay, two fingers are pointing lower, at you. Lower, lower, lower. No, that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. I have something tighter waiting for you if you want. Oh! Wait, she says she has something tight waiting for me? Something tighter than that. Oh! Was it tight? It was pretty tight. Do it to me, what she did to you. Here's my hand. Do it to Where's me. Where's your hand? She squeezed oh. it. That was tight. All right. Let's go ahead and go with contestant number six. Do you mind if I use your left hand? My left hand? Okay. Go ahead. I want, we're going to count shoulders. Okay. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Oh. That was smooth. I like that one. You guys, I like Katharina. Okay. I'm honestly surprised you let go right there at the end. Uh, it, I just didn't want to do too much. You know, we can save that for later. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Smart, yeah. smart, smart. I, I, I got to give the shine to the other girls, too. I feel like you wore black baggy pants for a reason. Exactly. Do you have something? Um, it's kind of just for all of you, and you're going to be my beautiful assistant. Okay? Okay. This is the magician, so she's got a trick, I think. I saw there was a magician. Ready? This is gonna be the hottest magic trick you've ever seen. The hottest magic trick I've ever seen. Why did I feel oh! heat? What's happening? It's getting hot in here. What's going on? Uh, can you open your mouth? Open my mouth? Yeah. Like, like how wide? What comes naturally? Like just... Oh, you've done this before. Oh. All right, come on. My mouth is open. Keep it open. What do I'm gonna I... hold on to one ball. You're gonna open your mouth and eat the ball. Close your mouth. Hunter, can you blow on the ball? I've done that. There you go. I don't know what happens when Hunter blows on balls. It completely vanishes. Can you open your mouth? Whoa, whoa! I just, an, an extra ball just spawned in my mouth. You had two balls in your mouth. You're welcome. Okay. Do you, do you want my saliva balls on your hand? No, they're both still wet. You can keep it. How does that feel? Bro, I swear when she put a ball in my mouth, I only felt one. And then out of nowhere, I just randomly felt two. That's magic it was insane i will say usually when i do the trick they don't come out blue afterwards i can show you a lot of things you've never seen before oh, oh, like four balls. ladies and gentlemen it is time for probably one of the harder eliminations those were all good but it's time to eliminate david all right guys since i have you guys here what move would work best on you guys I would say probably the magic trick. The magic trick, why is that? It was just good, like overall. Thank you, you're so sweet, thank you. Damn, I know, I, honestly I felt left out. I wanted two balls in my mouth too. Right, I'm gonna go to this guy, cause you don't, oh my God, what's up? Que onda, como estas? Oh, she is, mi primo. All right bro, what, which move would work on you? Number two. Ooh, okay, why is that? She turned me on. <laughs> She turned you on? Yes. All right. That's an honest answer. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, a very difficult elimination. But because she was just brought up, we're going to start with contestant number two. <laughs> contestant number one. And our final contestant. I still have two wet balls in my hand. What do I do with them? You stroke the cock. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the person going home is contestant number six. It's because I'm the only brown one up here. <laughs> I'm Filipina. <laughs> 
I told you guys I like Katharina. <laughs> you guys are really f***ing this up for Blessive. You don't care at all what he wants. Two girls left, Blessive. How do you feel? I'm nervous. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it quiet for this final question, okay? This is the final question? This is the final question. Like, this next person going to be eliminated and I'm going to end up with, like, one girl? Exactly. Oh, I'm nervous, you guys. All right, let's do it. Come okay, on. here you go. Contestant number one, what makes you different than other girls? I mean, other than you've probably never met another female magician in your life, I could literally make you disappear if I wanted to. You could make me disappear? I feel like you're more scared of me than anything. She can make you disappear if you don't keep an eye on your passport. <laughs> okay, that's, that's valid, right. it's valid. Contestant number two, what makes you different than other girls? Honestly, I did not think I would make it this far. I didn't either. <laughs> um, but I'll just say for me, I, I love hard, I'm so supportive, and if you like me, then I'm down for it, you know? Like, let's explore. That was straightforward. I like that answer. It was an, I feel like it was honest, but you have two very good choices here. I have Passport Stealer, and then I have um, Ride or Die. There you yeah. go. Okay, well, again, it is up to the audience. David, let's see how everyone's feeling for this final elimination. All right, guys, this is the final elimination. You know, we got our boy. He's trying to find love. You know what? I'm going to go over here to Zach. Zach Justice, right here, who got eliminated. I know he's really sad. He's super single, so come buy him a drink afterwards. Who would you want Alex to take home? I want Alex to um, bring a consent form to the bedroom, and do to her legs like my parents did, and legally separate. Actually, I want you to take number two, because I think I'm in love with number one. Toxic loves toxic, but you know what, Bless, if you said you like the toxic girl. I do like a toxic girl. I want to get one more person, Blake. Hey guys, Bl how's it going? Blake, who, who do you think Bless if should take home? Um, if they're open to it, maybe all three of them could start a cool thruple and, you know, I don't know. We can't do that anymore. I told you, we, that's, not, that's not a thing. Okay, well, I mean, you said you're still open with your girl and me and you, right? Okay, we're, well, we talked about, that was like private, but okay, you know what? That was what we got. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I will say you have fucked this up twice now. This is for Blessive, not for you. And he has to marry this woman legally this weekend. So applaud for who you want to keep, starting with number one. Wow. That was pretty loud. Number two. <laughs> Number one, are you clapping for her? Yes. I think they're going to make a beautiful couple, and I will talk to Zach after the show. All right, then. Play the sad music. Him. Don't even look at him. You had your chance, buddy. We're about to go make some magic. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that leaves one final contestant. You stay right there. Are you ready? I'm take, ready. Take two steps back, take two steps back. Are you ready to meet the love of your life? I'm ready to leave the love of my life. She might have the tightest coochie in the world. How is your pullout game, my guy? It's not good. Tap him on the shoulder. It's time. It's time? Turn around. I'm nervous. Turn ah! around. Give it up for the lovely couple. Round of applause for Bless Him and Amanda. Thank you so much. You are so beautiful. Kiss each other. Do you guys want to do a little smooch? Action smooch. Hey. Oh, no. OK. Almost. What about some hand stuff? Do you want to do some hand stuff? Under the shirt stuff? Yeah, one more time for Casey and Shay, everybody. And a big round of applause. Well, actually, our other couple, god damn it. Yeah. It's never the intention, but he always does this. And one big round of applause for David Alvarez, everybody. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, that 
is crowd pleasers. Make some noise, Regent. Make some noise. There's no fucking way. Welcome to the menu. This is a blind dating show. One of you has to kiss the other person's foot. Dude, what the fuck? Knowing the other person's name. I can't, I can't. Pop, 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 poppies.